As a result of Michael Cohen pleading guilty to lying to the Senate, we have now learned that Donald Trump's price apparently is a hotel, his price to sell out his country. Give me a hotel, I'll, sell, I'll commit treason, I'll sell out my country. He lied to us, according to Michael Cohen's uh, plea, or uh, guilty plea this morning. Donald Trump lied to us throughout the campaign. Remember, he went on TV, he said, I got nothing, I got nothing to do with Russia. I got no, I'm do, not doing any business. I got no money invested in Russia. You know, maybe those are very carefully crafted words. Maybe he didn't have money invested in Russia. Because after all, he wouldn't build the hotel. A Russian oligarch would build the hotel. They'd put Trump's name on it. And they would pay Trump millions of dollars, you know, in royalties and, and fees. That's how it works. Trump doesn't actually build these properties around the world. He gets somebody else to build them. He puts his name on them, and then they pay him for the naming rights. And I think his brand is kind of in the crapper right now, but he's, he's I mean, you know, he's been doing this for some time. So I, I suppose he could say, yeah, I, you know, didn't do that. But he was trying to do that deal. At the same time that he was protesting that he wasn't doing anything. This is, you know, and is this the one hand wash as another? Has, has Mueller finally proven collusion? Or shall we say conspiracy to, uh, to defraud the United States of America and its citizens? Trump obviously defrauded us. He lied to us throughout the campaign. And then Michael Cohen, to support that lie, went and lied before Congress. But it's not just Trump. This is the entire Republican Party now. It's become the Trump Party. And people are literally dying from re Republican health care policies. We were talking the other day about these two women who tried to deliver the ashes of their dead children who were diabetics. They were uh, young adults and they were and you know they were on their own and they couldn't afford to pay for their insulin because the company, Santafil, as I recall, had jacked the price from $25 a dose up to $500 a dose or numbers in that range. And, you know, the Republicans say, oh, this is cool with us, you know. And not to mention the failure to expand Medicaid. We've talked about Charlene Dill, the woman in, in, uh, in Florida who died because Rick Scott would not expand Medicaid. She was working, so she was earning too much money to get Medicaid. But she wasn't earning enough money to be able to afford to pay for insurance. She was working three part-time jobs. She had three kids. She was cutting her heart medication in half because she couldn't afford it. She died. Rick Scott's blood, her blood is on Rick Scott's hands, who is now heading to the Senate. I mean, this is the entire Republican Party. They're helping the planet to die. And they're lying to us about all of this, just like Trump lied to us about being in bed with Russia and uh, Russian oligarchs, presumably, to build a, the Trump Hotel. They've been lying to us for years. I mean, Reagan came in and lied to us and said, oh, yeah, trickle-down economics. It's going to make the nation prosperous. Bush lied to us. Oh, yeah, there's weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. Nixon lied to us. Oh, I'm not a crook. I wouldn't blow up the Vietnam peace talks in 1968 just to get myself elected. They were all lies. The last legitimately elected Republican president was Dwight Eisenhower. You've heard this riff before. And, the, and, and frankly, the last Republican president who didn't lie to us, to the best of our knowledge, was Dwight Eisenhower. I think America is waking up. I, it, it really feels like America's waking up. Like we may not have to go through, you know, some sort of just horrible crisis to get to that point. It's just, I, I, well, actually we are going through a horrible crisis right now. It, it's, you know, the Republicans having gerrymandered the country so that even though they, they you know, overwhelmingly the nation voted for Democrats, for the House of Representatives and even for the Senate, in the last election, Republicans hold the, you know, a majority in the Senate, a narrow majority, but a majority in the Senate, and, and were able to hold on to, you know, at least 100 seats that should have flipped. And they're, they're able to hold on to some state legislatures. I mean, this enormous scam is going on. And, you know, when are we going to wake up? I think we're waking up.
as these guys are aggressively working to destroy the planet and lying to us about it, to, to loot our government and hand that money off to their billionaire friends through the, the uh, GOP tax scam, and they're lying about it. I mean, every step along the way, these guys are pulling this stuff off and lying about it to all of us. And this is, and now, you know, Mueller is exposing it. Thank God. All right, thank God we can finally figure out what's actually going on. And it's the Donald Trump, you know, the grifter in chief, the Trump, and, and, and according to Cohen, he's, he's been briefing his entire family on this. This is the Trump crime family about to go down, or at least that's how it looks to me.